Rahul Gandhi today strongly indicated that Ashok Gehlot, who is set to run for Congress president, cannot keep two posts if he wins. His rival, Sachin Pilot, may replace him as Rajasthan Chief Minister, sources say. We have made a commitment in Udaipur. I expect that the commitment will be maintained, Rahul Gandhi told reporters in Kerala on the one-person, one-post rule, whether it would apply to Ashok Gehlot. The 71-year-old is Gandhi's choice for Congress president, but he has held out so far, worrying that if he elected, he will need to step down as Rajasthan Chief Minister. Playing in a band over the weekend is different from secretly working for rivals. Wipro boss Rishad Premji underlined this week as the soap to tech business group said it had fired 300 employees for moonlighting. Some other tech majors such as IBM, which has a huge presence in India and homegrown Infosys, have joined the chorus to call moonlighting an unethical practice. Cheating plain and simple is how Premji described it. He said he's not deterred by hate mail he's been getting over his tweet, the Times of India reported, and his company remains stern too in its latest statement. Certain employees find to be operating in circumstances that are in direct conflict with Vipro's interest have been terminated. Calling the opposition of the Congress president an ideological post, Rahul Gandhi on Thursday advised the leader succeeding Sonia Gandhi in the poll to remember that he represents a set of ideas and belief system and vision of India. Answering a question during a press conference in the 15th day of the Bharat Joro Yatra, Mr. Gandhi said, You are taking on a position, it's a historic position, that defines and has defined a particular view of India. It is not just an organizational post. The Congress president is an ideological post. It is a belief system. My advice would be whoever becomes the president should remember that he represents a set of ideas and belief system and a vision of India. Trinamool Congress MP Mahua Moitra today shared a rather spiritual definition of telecom spectrum as Atma or a spirit that's omnipresent. She was quoting from explanatory note of the draft Indian Telecommunication Bill 2022, which aims to modernize the law. It says spectrum is similar to Atma, which is Ajar, Amar, as described in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. In the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Ajar and Amar means indestructible and immortal. Taking a dig at West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, Union Minister Minakshi Lekhi today said it was horrendous that a state government which banned Durga Puja and idol immersion was taking credit for inclusion of the festival in UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Addressing a press conference, she said, Ministry of Culture has also sent a proposal to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization to include Garba dance from Gujarat in its list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity.